I know this will sound weird, but just go with it. This is a test from the psychology of living. So I want you to say your name out loud. TJ. Okay, now make up a name for yourself. Bobby Bo. See how you had to pause? Your brain has to think to lie. To lie means to deliberately be untruthful or hide the full truth. I'm going to try to help you understand all that comes with lying. Everybody lies. We see it from a young age. The president, Congress, there's a lot. But one of the biggest liars we know is someone that tells us lying is bad. Our parents. If we aren't good, Santa won't come. We had to put our tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy, and so on. At an early age, we were able to get out of trouble by going around the truth. It wasn't me, I don't know why, it just is. Since we accepted lying so young, we aren't as outraged when we see someone lie. It's become part of our society. There are eight types of lies and one mistaken. The first is a white lie. This is referred to as the least serious lie. This lie can be an excuse not to do something or show appreciation for a gift you don't like. Broken promises. This is the failure to keep a spoken commitment. These lies can be very damaging, especially if the person Making the promise has no intention to keep it. Lies of fabrication. Telling something that you don't know for sure. This is commonly known as rumors. Bold face lies. This is telling something that everyone already knows is a lie. This is commonly seen in small children. Lying and exaggeration. Enhancing the truth with the additional lies. Usually done to make one look better. Lies of deception. Our lies that create an impression that misleads others by not telling all the facts. Plagiarism. Stealing one's ideas and lying that they are yours. And then compulsive lying. Compulsive liars can begin to believe that their own lies are truths. Because they have created a habit from lying so much, they find it nearly impossible to stop. They will tell mistruths even if telling the truth would have been easier. The mistaken lie. This is lies of omission. This occurs when an important fact is left out. For example, if someone hid your keys and told you they didn't have them, technically they don't, which is why they don't think it's a lie, but they do know where the keys are. So why do people lie? Some reasons people lie are the thought of protection. This can be for others or for oneself. For others, they believe if individual, an individual hears the truth, they will get hurt. If it's for oneself, this is driven by fear of judgment or punishment and loss of respect or love. People lie for personal gain. This can be financial gain, making others feel sorry for them, or playing the false victim role. Overall, personal gain is used for greed. The last is the little white lies. This is used to make people feel better. Yet, did you know lying doesn't just affect the people you lie to, it also affects you. Lying can lead to stress, unhappiness, damaged mental health, headaches, sore throats, or feelings of sadness. Lying is also linked to increased production of stress hormones, faster heartbeat, and increased blood pressure. According to Notre Dame, three less lies per week resulted in four less mental health issues and three times less physical complaints. Within a few minutes of telling a lie, your brain struggles to maintain track record of what it knows and what you said. So with these signs, do you think you could detect a lie? Conventional lie detectors cannot detect a lie. They detect changes in your body's response to questions. In a way, you can use this principle of reading changes to maybe detect a lie. First, you study the face. It's hard to tell if someone is happy or sad by looking at their hands. A face can show what one is feeling. Watch the eyes. Eyes will become unfocused. A few seconds a response is thought of. An unconscious flicker from left to right may happen. Studies show that when people lie, they look up and to the left, and when it's the truth, they look up and to the right. Look at the mouth. People try to smile out of lies. Lips will appear forced into position as eyes are focused, instead of relaxed. Some people may run their tongue over their teeth or lips. Listen to the voice. It may drop or become less confident. Voice may stammer and language becomes more for formal, changing I didn't to I did not. Another way to detect lies is looking at the body's response. These are gestures. 
such as sudden sweat, lives put pressure on bodies, making the metabolism quicken, sometimes leading to sweat, usually shown on palms or forehead, persistent fidgeting. People are nervous, tapping feet, rubbing hands across dimples, and rubbing nose, shielding, taking a def defensive stance, crossing arms, hands in pocket, and slouching shoulders. The downside to knowing this is it can make you a better liar. So there are many types of lies and different ways these lies can be used. There is also different effects of each, like stress, headaches, but also sadness and damaged mental health. With each lie we make, our brain pauses to try and figure out right from wrong. So I leave you with this to think about. Yes, lies affect you, but think of everyone else it affects too.